Hello everyone, I am Vishali and the topic of my presentation is OLED technology. Firstly, we are going to go through a very quick introduction about this content. And the content I am going to explain is introduction, what is OLED, history, structure of OLED, OLED fabrication, its working principles, features, types of OLED, comparison, OLED with LCD, advantages of OLED, disadvantages of OLED, applications, and we are finished with the conclusion. Okay, now moving on to the introduction to OLED. Uses organic light emitting diode, also called organic EC diode, which is stands for organic electroluminescent diode. Emerging technology for displaying devices offers brighter, thinner, high contrast, flexible displays. Main principle behind OLED technology is electroluminescence and it is also the basic principle for the LED which stands for light emitting diode. Nowadays OLED using smartphones and TV. Okay, now move to the next slide. What is an OLED? OLED are solid state devices compared of the thin film of organic molecules that is 100 to 500 nanometers thick. They emit light with the application of electricity. They don't require any backlight. That is, they are self-emitting. They are made from carbon and hydrogen. History. The first OLED device was developed by Eatman Kodak in 1987. In 1996, Pioneer produces the world's first commercial PMO LED. In 2000, many companies like Motorola, LG, etc. developed various displays. In 2001, Sony developed world's largest OLED. Okay. In 2002, approximately 3.5 million passive metric OLED sub displays were sold and over 10 million were sold in 2003. In 2010 and 2011, many companies announced AMO LED displays. Many developments had taken place in the year 2012. Now, move to the next slide, which is structure of OLEDs. Now, have a look on the figure. Figure tells us about the gear structure of OLED. And the composition for the OLED is cathode, anode, emissive layer, conductive layer, and substrate. Substrate required is clear plastic, glass foil, anything else, etc. Anode. Anode is a transparent terminal adds electrons holes when a current flows through the device. Organic semiconductor layer. There are two organic semiconductor layers that is conducting and emissive layers made up of, made up of organic molecules or polymers. Okay, conductive layers. Conductive layer is also called as whole transport layer made up of body and a line. Emissive layer. It is also called as electron transport layer. Light is created in this layer. Okay, cathode. Cathode is transparent or not. Injects electrons when a current flows through the device. OLED fabrication. OLEDs are fabricated by either a dry process or a wet process. The commonly used dry process is vacuum evaporation. In wet processes, there are process, process for coating without fine patterns. The most common methods of fabricating OLEDs are physical vapor deposition, screen printing, inkjet printing, inline fabrication, and the last is roll to roll process. Working principle. Figure illustrates about the working principle. A voltage is applied across the anode and cathode terminals. As you can see, there are two terminals, R, anode, and cathode. Uh, an electric current flows from cathode to anode through the organic layer. Electrons flow to emissive layer from the cathode. Electrons are removed from conductive layer, leaving holes. Holes jump into emissive layer. Electrons and holes combine in emissive layer to form photons and emit it in the form of light photons. As you already know, photons are the packet of light. Okay. 
So let's move to the next slide. Which tells us about its features. Features are flexibility, energetic technology, lightweight and thin, low power consumption, high contrast, brighter and perfect display from all angles. Types of OLEDs. There are six types of OLEDs: passive matrix OLEDs, active matrix OLEDs, transparent OLEDs, top emitting OLEDs, flexible OLEDs, and last but not least, white OLEDs. Okay, now move to the next slide, which tells us about comparison. Comparison of OLEDs with LCDs. Okay, let us discuss in point to point. Okay, OLED. OLED. OLEDs have greater view angle than LCDs. OLEDs have high contrast rather than low contrast, which is in LCDs. Fast response time in OLEDs. LCD have slow response time. OLED do not require backlighting. Whereas LCD requires backlighting. Temperature 50 degrees to 80 degrees Celsius in OLEDs. Whereas temperature required in LCDs is approximately 0 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade. Okay. And the main point is OLED. OLED stands for organic light emitting diode. Whereas LCD stands for liquid crystal displays. Now, advantages of OLEDs are OLEDs do not require backlighting, likewise LCDs. OLEDs have large field of view, above 170 degrees. OLEDs have faster response time. OLEDs have greater brightness, better durability. OLEDs have high resolution. OLED has less power consumption, consumes less power than LCDs. OLED disadvantages. OLEDs are expensive than LCDs and the last time for the OLEDs is lesser than the LCDs. LCD stands for liquid crystal displays. Water damage. Water damage. OLEDs can be easily damaged by water to so need extra protection. Color balance issues are occurred in OLEDs. Problem in direct sunlight due to emissive nature, but this is still in progress. Applications. Major applications of OLED technologies are OLED TVs, mobile phones with OLED screens, rolls of laptops. Conclusion. OLEDs are evolving as the next generation displays. OLEDs are winning over LEDs for various advantages like low power consumption, wide viewing angles, high contrast. It has advantages and drawbacks, but researchers make it more and more advantageous like a compromise. So, thank you.